This motorhome I have in front of me is the Leica Cosmo V9. Manufactured in Italy, part of the Erwinheimer Group. This thing is going to cost 50,000 uh, euros. It is on a Citroen jumper. It's 665 long, 214 wide, has a height of 271. Let's have a look inside. Now, uh, as I'm looking inside, I'm going to explain what's going on. This trade fair is the CMT, uh, which is held every year in uh, Stuttgart. The fair has now ended. You can hear people clearing up. And uh, so that is the reason uh, why certain noises are outside. But anyway, I'm going to stay in here until I, I get kicked out. Or, or the batteries run out on the vehicle. Oh, the lights have gone off. Well, that's, uh, <laughs> that's to be expected. Uh, some of the lights have gone out, some are still on. Single beds in here. Steps up to the single bed. Um, you've got on each side, You've on this side you've got uh, storage there. And I'm going to be quick as well, of course. And storage on the other side as well. Uh, for those wanting a bit of privacy, yeah, I've got a, a curtain coming across here. One thing I've got to say, there's more and more curtains we're now seeing in uh, motorhomes, which I think is far better than the board which comes across the wooden door thing, sliding door. Which these, these curtains don't tend to rattle off, they do, they don't rattle so much. And that's a, particularly the case in cheaper vehicles. You know, if you buy a Morello or something, then it's probably not going to rattle, but uh, if you buy uh, well, one or two other brands I could mention, uh, but won't, then then it won't. Right, coming in here, this is sort of typical actually of the uh, Erwin Hummer, or Heimer, uh, design in uh, the cheaper brands, Sunlight, uh, Carado and all the rest of them. And this obviously has been put now in death lifts. Not death lifts, this is death lifts used as well in, uh, in Leica. There you've got the... Uh, the shower, if you want to have a shower, you do have to bring this full store open, uh, which is a pity. And then it sort of goes back here and clicks under that, as this is done now, if you want to open it, there you go, it's open now. Now, um, a disadvantage here is that you haven't got, actually got a shower, so you, you haven't got a mirror in the shower if you want to try shaving. Uh, so you can't see in the shower, you're going to have to uh, come out and uh, do it in the washroom, which is here. But one of the advantages, there's the washroom. Now, but one of the advantages, of course, is that you can actually sit down there on that whilst you're washing your feet, which comes in handy if you've been out cycling, for example, as uh, I tend to do a fair bit. Now, if you want a wardrobe, because you always want to look your best with your uh, iron shirts and what have you, it's in there. I think I might have shown that, I can't remember what. That's, it's now getting to such a state, I can't remember what I've done, what I haven't done. Right, there's your uh, three burners plus your sink. There's a bit of um, um, preparation space around. But this bit of space up here, that's quite unusual in a motorhome. And it's got this up here, which is a plug. It could do incidentally, if Mr. Leica happens to be uh, watching, Mr. Leica was of course the dog, the dog Leica, but it could actually do with uh, a USB up there. If that's all right, I mean, don't have to bother if you don't want to put it in, but uh, that's what I would uh, Nice big table for a van of this size. Uh, uh, you might like the white, you might not. I do. I like the very nice uh, cloth there. And up here, what we've got, uh, like it does excel itself in some of these big uh, storage uh, things. Uh, one thing here, look, that is not, it's, there's a bit of a ledge there. Um, when they stop putting in shelves i initially uh, applauded this decision i'm now not so sure now look at this as well this thing here doesn't open i mean it's like waste of space that is unless there's something behind it which i don't know about which could be in, in, in part of the infrastructure there you go citroen citroen has around five percent market share it, it's there's very few heimer group fans that have it but there is actually even a heimer brand Branded vehicle using it now, so uh, people see more of that. People want their Citroen because it's cheaper than the Ducato, and bang, uh, and the Ducato is uh, made in exactly the same factory, so that will make a difference. Now, if you want an M edition, M stands for Mercedes. That's you can see that's a Mercedes. We'll have a look on this one quite quickly. I'll have a look on some of the others. Uh, as long as I can. 
This thing here is 87,082. Uh, kick off 66,000, but yeah, I mean, you're getting all these extras and probably need all them extras. Right, first thing I notice here, it's got a flat floor until you get to the stairs at the back. German layout, storage on both sides. Uh, have a look in here. There you go. Now I've got to say, it's really sad actually for this for me because I've been here for 10 days. I really like this tray fair. Uh, not only that, for some, you know, I live in a van, but uh, it's it's like you sort of, uh, I'm quite conservative. No, I'm not quite, I'm very conservative. I find somewhere I like, and I may sound stupid to like being here, but uh, I, I really like this. I don't want to move. And you know, you've got lots of friends and people here, and it's yeah, you know, that's it is it, it is it is rather sad to leave anyway. I can't stay in the same place. Another thing about Stuttgart is because I, I, I like Dusseldorf the same length, and all this, I like going to Dusseldorf, but um, the trouble is with the, uh, some of the people you've got to deal with, not pe not visitors. But the, uh, the people I've got to deal with uh, to get my accreditation. Oh, they're horrible. And uh, I mean, everybody says the same thing. So, anyway, that part, so if I've had that moan, 58,000 this one here costs. Uh, actually, for uh, that seems to me, just looking at it like this, I mean, there might be something wrong which I haven't actually had the opportunity to get to grips with. But uh, there may be something very wrong with this van, but I can't see what it is yet. That closes there, you've got another... Here you are. I mentioned the curtain earlier. Yeah, this thing comes across, but okay. That's rattling there, but that should, should, shouldn't be closed when it's on. But yeah, that's rattling there, so if we close this here, try closing this. I bet that rattles when it moves. And uh, one thing, I, I was driving, it wasn't one of these, it was a death left sign, it was. no it wasn't, it was a sunlight. And uh, there was this banging constantly. Uh, no, it was a death left, it was this constant banging, it turned out to be this, I hadn't actually put this on here. But as you, you know, you, you, I couldn't really see. Uh, so, uh, anyway, uh, right, deep sink, oh nice, nice. Well, three burners, just the same as anything else. Face to face, as they say in German and French, probably in English as well. Uh, big table, lots of room, Citroen base. There's also a bed up here at the top, which is controlled electrically. Uh, and uh, where's the. There was a switch, I saw the switch. Don't know the switch is this up here. Anyway. There is a switch somewhere. Who knows where it could be? Oh, there you go. This is there. Electric, electrical uh, uh, upper bed. Optional. Well, I'd, I I wouldn't bother with it because the cost of something like this. Uh, there's the electrics as you come in. I'll tell you what we'll do. Just have a look and see how much that option costs. There you go. 1,650 for the optional bed. This thing here. Is the Krios 5009, and uh, this thing here costs 105,542 in this condition. It's a rather flash fan, though. I think it looks lovely this. I mean I'd be like the colour, the yeah, nice blue shower. I like the lines of the the kitchen, uh, this this sloping I think this is pretty uh, class. Uh, I like I like things like that as well. The the, the tray, it's not really necessary. Maybe in a van, 
and uh, these things seem to be the same in every Leica vehicle. Oh, you can see it's got an extractor fan as well. And there's a bed above, uh, you might have missed it. There had, had it not been for seeing the slide there, you could have missed that bed. Look how well it's been integrated into the, uh, the motorhome. That one there, that's how it should be done. So you can't tell that it's there. Of course, I mean, this price level, I mean, for a 50,000 euro van, uh, you can't really, I suppose, expect it uh, to be so well integrated. Let's see how these things open. There you go. See, the bit, this comes around the corner like that. Huh? I suppose that's for the television. Or oh, even these things, these things in the corner. So. So, it doesn't have a lot of room inside, but it's nice. Lots of nice little details in there. Right, I shall now go out. And we'll show the top, top one here. If I remember right, this was introduced in 2017. It might be wrong. It might have, uh, but I think that was uh, when it was introduced. Kreos. This thing here is the Kreos uh, 2009. Don't necessarily remember when things were introduced. This thing here is going to cost 121,053 euros and it is 796 uh, centimeters long, 298 wide. It's got a standing height in here of a lot around two meters I would say. Look at that. How, how nice it looks without these beds above. So look at all that storage you get. There's something in here making a noise, I wonder what it is. Other than me. Double floor, indirect lighting, you've got storage here to the left and to the right. You get this wide entrance to the bed. I don't know if it's supposed to be a lengthwise bed or a widthwise bed. Or what but it's uh, it looks great and even when I'm standing here on this step the first step up to the bed uh, it's I've still got plenty of clearance uh, above this thing comes oh no I need two answers don't I let me push that down there see comes out like that nice 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 okay I won't pull it all all the way you get the picture and so that goes back like that so Mind you, I suppose, well, I don't know if you, if, you, if, you, if you use that much force in normal driving conditions. There's me. Now, I would have done like it in more detail during the event, and I have done all the. The trouble was, every time I came on the stand here, there was uh, normally uh, there was music blaring. It was uh, Gypsy Kings or something, and uh, I could actually sing it now if you wanted to, and uh, you do want to, right? Well, we'll uh, do that a bit later, and um, you know I cannot, I just cannot have copyright music on my uh, on on the videos. The risk now, you know, YouTube is very very, uh, it's very keen on getting it, it gets things out very quickly. The uh, the copyright is a major problem. Not only that, but a uh, friend of mine uh, who had a, who had a um, in 2012, he had a he had a standy, and somebody came round from the uh, what's it called, the, the performing artists union or the people who uh, get involved in uh, stopping you co pinching copyright stuff, and he said that. He got a fine for, I think it was 200. No, no, it wasn't. No, it was more than that. It was a 1,200 it was for p playing music without a license. And that is going to be a problem, uh, I think, for, uh, you know, for people who actually do it. Because what's going to happen, somebody like me is going to go and film something. YouTube's going to uh, say, no, no, that belongs to Gypsy Kings for argument's sake. Uh, then, then there's going to be a counterclaim. So I said, no, 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 I didn't put Gypsy Kings on. Then it's going to go to whoever owns Gypsy Kings. I don't know, is EMI, Sony Music, don't know. And then what's going to happen is whoever had the stand will get into trouble. Assuming, of course, that uh, 
that don't have a license because I don't know. Right, as you can see, the stuff's being taken out. Uh, I've taken you around now all the Leica vans except for uh, two, I think, in this video, but I've done them both with commentary uh, on uh, on this site, so uh, so you can see them elsewhere. Thanks for watching. So this is me in uh, Stuttgart. As far as this film is con as this video is concerned, signing out.